some reason the exhaust fumes only come out from the left side completely stock uh, 3000 GT VR4 exhaust I'm gonna turn off the car because that fuel pump is super loud a lot of you guys complain about it in the previous videos but what's up guys welcome back to another VR4 video we're gonna be changing out the OEM exhaust unfortunately today we're not gonna be doing the full three inch turbo black exhaust. I do have to do it in pieces. Now for today, we're actually gonna go visit a fellow 3000 GT VR4 owner. I'm actually gonna go pick up a, what seems to be either a cat back or some sort of axle back exhaust for the VR4. Now do expect a future video where we install the downpipe. And I also do wanna run a three inch cutout. And if you guys haven't noticed yet, check this out. The first ever VR4 design. Popping into the daily. Shout out to Marissa for the flask. She actually got it for me for Christmas. Here we have ARVR4, Super Street sticker I put on there, Mr. Lazy Ass, and of course the holographic Evo sticker. Only 50 made. I think I have like 16 left if you guys want these as well. Oh, I see a DSM. And here you have his, uh, his VR4. Here we have a wide body. VR4 with what looks like some sort of carbon fiber wing. I actually met him at a random car meet just one day. Out of all the cars there, he pulled up and I was like, oh shoot, a VR4, and that's kind of how we met. Also has the 99 front end, but he does have the front mount on. Looks super good on there. <laughs> He's gonna start it for us. Oh, I haven't started in weeks. <laughs> you think the battery's dead? No, I think it's alive. It's just the crank is probably dead. <laughs> it wants to crank, but I think it doesn't have enough juice. Yeah, it might actually be dead. <laughs> oh, you also have a single tip instead of the dual, huh? Yeah, dude, honestly, that one's a little too quiet. I'm not sure if I'm done with it. So you used to run this one? Yeah, that would be looking awesome. I appreciate it. Again, huge shout out to CK. We were supposed to actually do a video shoot with both VR4s together, but he is feeling a little bit under the weather right now, so we're gonna go ahead and wait for that. Uh, once he's back to normal, we'll go ahead and get both VR4s together, and hopefully soon we can start taking out the VR4 with fellow 3000 GT owner. Not too shabby actually. Looks a lot better now. Um, of course, it's still a used exhaust, so we could spend hours sanding this thing down to perfection. At this point, let's head out to the exhaust shop. I am gonna go ahead and install this Zoom H1N mic to actually get a better reading or sound of the stock exhaust versus the aftermarket ones. I hate to be that guy, but I do want to rev it up in neutral so you guys can kind of hear the uh, the exhaust. So stock exhaust, rev. Okay, so this is six gear. 
pretty mellow and pretty quiet from the inside of the cabin. I'm pretty sure the outside is just as bad. Um, I really do want to compare the difference between the stock exhaust and the aftermarket one, at least for now. See this exhaust shop takes me in right now. That way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Basically it goes, it gets cut from here and then it kind of extends outwards if that makes sense. It's just all weld though. This is the stock one. Is uh, a four It's a six. Six cylinder twin turbo. Yeah, it's the, the, the back of the turbo is on that side and then... another cat up there too. Yeah. It's the pre-cats. Pre-cats, yeah, it's super restrictive, huh? Yeah. The dump up, yeah, once you get the full exhaust, I'm sure this thing sounds good and I'll free up some power. <laughs> I piece chase for a video. I'll probably go viral, but I'll probably go to jail. <laughs> and I probably won't get away with this thing, honestly. <laughs> but this is what the stock exhaust looks like. Uh, I guess I could consider this like an axle back. It's going ham. In all honesty though, I do have a feeling this is going to be the best sounding cars out of the EVO TSM and 3000 GT. Uh, just because the 6072 does sound very nice. Um, I've never heard of one stray piped. Um, but once I have the full exhaust system with the cutout, we should have some turbo spool. And of course, the V6 6G72 making its way down the road. And honestly, I feel like a lot of cars don't really sound like this car to begin with. It does have a very unique tone. I can go loud and proud. Uh oh. 